Hi, this video shows you how to create automatic Lambda port, Wave port in HFSS. For this, you need a 2022, 2022 point R1 or R2 or higher version of that. So let's say I have a microstrip lines. I wanted to create a port over here. Select the edge over here. So I'm selecting the edge, top and bottom. Right click and then go to excitation port lambda port so it will show you a wizard just create it it automatically create the port for you another option for you is select the edge and change the selection to face mode or press f and select the bottom face some cases you can do that like this also right click and go here excitation port create lab lambda port okay now this is a way you can now create the lambda port very easily in hfss earlier you need to create a rectangular sheet and then assign the port over there let's go back to the another model i have a uh, horn antenna and covered with a radiation box over here so if you want to create a wave port here earlier you need to create a wave port and then create a metallic backing so that the field from the wave port will travel towards the other side in the newer version uh, for simplicity let me hide this box i can just right click excitation port wave port and then create a integration line integration line will tell you that how the electric field is going to orient along the port cross-section next finish now it will pop up a window it will tell you that what is the thickness of that PC backing and you can see one thing uh, if you want to create a box uh, the metal backing at the backs here the arrow will indicate okay this is going to create here if you want to create it in the other direction you just flip it okay and over here let me say point uh, 0, 0.5 thickness. thickness is fine for me click ok now you can see automatically the backing is created you can directly run the simulation so this is about creating wave port and lump to port automatically in hfss make sure you have latest version of hfss which is 2022 20, r1 or higher than that